Hey guys, today I'm going to do some gardening outside in the patio and I'm going to take you with me because so many of us live in the city and we just don't think that we can grow things because the truth is I don't have any kind of soil outside I just have a tiny patio and I can only grow things in pots but it doesn't mean that I can't grow food I can still grow lots of herbs for cooking and also some lettuce so that's what I'm going to do now I did exactly the same thing a couple of years ago but now I really want to restart so you're going to be a witness of my gardening progress. So let's get started. So this is my tiny little patio. As you can see, I really don't have much space and it's all concrete. And I have a couple of plants already. So I have rosemary, which we got from our neighbor just before Christmas. And this one is my gardening partner, Mr. Jimmy. He wanted to come out, so I let him. I've got some parsley, which needs to go in a pot, and then I have all these amazing herbs. And this one is, I believe it's a Mai tree, I'm not entirely sure, but this one is a plant for the inside, I just need to put in a bigger pot, because I just bought it. This one is a beautiful Echeveria, a local plant from the mountains, and it's so beautiful. And I have this beautiful lavender as well. I love lavender because it attracts all kinds of bees and insects and it's so so nice and now this is my treasure all the herbs I need for cooking and all of these need to go into these self-watering pots and it's amazing for this hot climate because I only need to water them maybe every three days every four days and they don't die because with this brutal sun normally they would die really quickly so let's see what I have I've got this one, which is thyme. I love thyme. And then I've got this one, which is marjoram, I believe it's called. Yeah, I think it's called marjoram. It's really nice too. And then this one is chives. This one is uh, mint. This one is called herba de la huerta. Hortelana, I think as well in Spanish. It's a sort of sort of mint, very similar to mint, and it's great for salads with fresh goat cheese. And then I've got two plants of basil because we use a lot of basil, we make pesto sauce. So these two will be perfect. This is a regular mint, which I also love using for Middle Eastern cooking and for uh, for teas, for salads. And this is cilantro, one of my favorite herbs of all time. And uh, yeah, I guess that's all. And then I also have a tiny cactus over there, which needs to go in a bigger pot as well. And Jimmy's very curious about all of these plants. And I only have this bag of soil, so I don't think this is going to be enough. I'll probably have to buy more and continue on a different day. And this is organic soil. That's what I use for my food, for growing my food all the time. Right, so let's get started.
bringing life to others But I still don't know what else to seek But your smile in the morning hours result yeah you managed to plant pretty much everything I just didn't manage to plant the parsley over there because the soil finished unfortunately I planted the lavender and honestly I wish I could transfer the smell to you through the camera because it smells amazing so soft so beautiful and over there I have my cactus replanted unfortunately the smaller one died I probably overwatered it before so I just have one big one now. Let's hope this one is going to survive. And Mr. Jimmy is ready to go home. Jimmy! Oh, he's so stunning. Okay, so I guess that's all of my gardening for today. Another day I'm going to get some more soil, plant the parsley, and also seed some uh, lettuce. And that's going to be beautiful. Oh, and also a rugula. I love that one too. I came in from the outside and I found all my animals like this. Look at them. All chilling out, watching me outside, doing God knows what. And that's my new garden. And I also want to mention that, yes, I know the floor is super ugly. We're supposed to do the, the waterproofing and put a new layer, you know, proper layer. And then so we can put tiles on it. But it costs a lot of money and we just don't have it for now. So unfortunately, it's ugly, but there's not much we can do. I'm super hungry now after gardening so much. That little animal is hungry too. Actually, all of them are. So I'm just going to sort out all the mess outside, all the soil I sprinkled all over the floor. And then I'm going to eat soup for dinner. So here's the finished result, my little herb corner already so that one is chives this one is marjoram thyme basil another basil which by the way doesn't seem to have enjoyed my watering the drops were probably too big but it will be all right this one is cilantro the two mints the two different kinds of mints that's parsley, I still haven't planted that one. This is my old rosemary. And that one there is the lavender. Look at the mountains speaking out to the clouds. That's so beautiful, isn't it? I love it. I'll speak to you soon, bye.